How you doing today, guys? Uh, if you watched my last video, sorry if that ended kind of abruptly. My wife was just coming through the door, and uh, anytime when she comes home, she tends to be rather loud and talks a lot, and I figured I'd better just smash the stop button. So, let me see where I left off here. Uh, General Price, he just uh, stays putting for coffee. Uh, if you don't remember, that is going to be his mission, is just hold Fort Coffee for now. Now, when I have the Choctaw rifles have been raised, and that they will help considerably out here in the west. Highly mobile, and they're pretty effective as well. <clears throat> and let's see. Army of the West, General McCulloch has arrived in Tennessee. Uh, so he will start moving north to meet up with uh, General Polk. I think he should be able to just march the rest of the way now that he's through the swamps over here in Arkansas. I do have some Union Cavalry here at Oos. Sailua. That's probably not the correct pronunciation, but uh, just that'll be good enough. And it looks like I have a force being raised here. Once they're free to move, I will probably use some of these guys to try to clear them out. Because of the swampy terrain, any forces you use in there tend to be bogged down for a while. So probably don't want to use any more troops than you have to. And that's probably one at most two regiments. It says, eh, according to that, it says three units are there. I wouldn't be surprised if it's all cavalry though. We have a new force, Arkansas Defense, that was just raised. I don't think I have a particular need for them up there at Little Rock, but they probably would be useful down here in the Louisiana area and East Texas. Shreveport has a garrison, but these other towns here in East Texas, they tend to have some trouble about being raided. Uh, so I probably should move them down in that direction. And then the Little Rock will still have a couple regiments there garrisoning it, so it should be safe enough. Savannah Force, these guys up there were moving north towards the eastern front. Eight days to get there. How long would it take to get over here? Eh, 13 days, I'll give them a couple days rest. I'm not sure if I ever mentioned it before, but each turn is 15 turn or 15 days. So if it takes them 13 days to get there, that'll mean they'll get a couple days of rest. And in my experience, it's better to try and give units a little bit of rest because they're marching non-stop the whole turn. It just it wears their organization down more. Uh, these guys, I was going to leave them here as a garrison in Jefferson. Uh, Sibley. What was I going to do with Sibley? think for the moment, I think I was originally thinking I would move him here to command those forces here in East Texas. But since they have a force there with decent strength, not great strength, but it's decent, then I probably should move another general up here to support Price. Because as you can see, Price has a considerable deficit of command value there by himself so we could use another general to help him out. Of 
course, not with generals of, by themselves. You don't have to worry about uh, cohesion or anything with them, so you can just tell them to move wherever you want them, regardless of how far, how long it takes. But uh, generals by themselves, they move very quickly, though, so he should, according to this, he'll get there by next turn. Alabama militia is here to reinforce Island 10 garrison. And we also have the Island 10 squadron, which is just two gunboats. Not too much strength there. We have Arkansas under the construction. And we have the Mississippi and Memphis squadrons here. I think I'm just going to merge all that together. And let's get them up in action over here in the river. Then we have Carolina Department. They are also slowly making their way north. And that'll take 16 days, so I'll just have them go that one spot. Fayetteville is under siege. Looks like, I guess they automatically raised a garrison, which actually most towns, they automatically raise a garrison. Which honestly, that's one thing that bothers me, because I wish I could just tell them to not bother raising it, because I was going to let them have this. So it's really kind of a waste to have troops here defending it. But they might be able to put up a little bit of a fight, and at least cause some casualties. Now I am the Sipping Militia there, here to reinforce Polk. Alright, so he's my last land unit available that I hadn't given orders to. Uh, let's see, my ships out here in the shipping lanes, they look like they've got enough supply for a while longer. So I don't have to worry about that. Check my Gulf blockade runners, they look good. Uh, did I ever check my notifications? Let's see. We sunk 46 money and 89 more supply. We smuggled 1 money and 6 more supply in. which was marking it as a draw. Five new full generals. Oh, so that means I should get Albert Johnson here pretty quick. And then Robert E. Lee, but I know... Uh, Lee, he, I won't be able to move him for a few turns. He'll be just stuck in Richmond. And then I've already had Johnson and Beauregard for a while now. I have new industrial options available. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I might need to see if I can build any more uh, arsenals and such. Okay, so this was the, they're calling the stalemate at Fayetteville, which honestly that looks a more like a victory to me. We killed 92 of them and we took no casualties, so. but I guess since they're still technically there sieging, so I guess that's why they're calling it stalemate, since we didn't drive them off. Now, if they're available to move next turn, I might use the Choctaw Rifles and move up there and see if they can drive them off. Might as well see if we can cause some damage to them, since we've got troops there defending it. Now, 
Okay, so let me check what my replenishment needs are. If your artillery, as usual, is in desperate need. Yeah, let's go ahead and take one of those. Uh, but I'll have to forgo the arsenals for a little while longer. Uh, my infantry and cavalry units, they actually look in really good condition. Could use a little bit of militia support. Yeah, overall, I look pretty good. for any uh, new regiments or brigades, but that's all right. I don't think we have a desperate need at the moment anyway. Okay, so is there anything else? Let me look at my uh, decisions here quickly. I could develop a territory. Is there any territories I want to develop over here? figure since that uh, raises loyalty, I figure I might as well try and find some place that has a little bit higher union support. And actually, oh wow, 65% in Decatur. So let's develop that a little bit. Maybe that'll get more uh, loyalty for us. And it looks like we can export some more cotton. All right, oh, that looks like it. So let's in turn. At the moment, I don't believe any large-scale battles are currently brewing, but uh, considering how close proximity we are to each other across the Potomac, uh, really, that could change at any moment. Although, at last I saw, it didn't look like they had too much strength in Alexandria. I think they pulled back to uh, Washington. in Alexandria. What's his name? Nathaniel Banks is a commanding general there. And I've got General Hamilton is leading a force here against Strasbourg. Hmm. That's a little disappointing. He's coming. Looks like he's going to come all the way through. Stout. Okay, so I need Floyd. He needs to try and retreat and link up with Huger. And then I'm going to have to have Johnston come down and break this up because I can't spare these guys down here, not with these guys coming in.
take him 12 days to get there. Hopefully, they'll still be in pretty good condition. So go on a sustained attack. Now, they don't give me a strength there, but I'm willing to bet it's not much of a force. So I believe Johnston should be able to push through there. Uh, Beauregard doesn't look like anything's really changed here. With that amount of strength, he has to stay put in his dug-in positions here. Huger, I don't think any movement would be good for him at the moment. Just wait there and see what they do. There's a, well, there's a regiment garrisoning Stoughton, so hopefully that would delay them if they tried to move there. If they tried to siege Stoughton, then I'd move down and attack them. Probably. We'll see what the situation is. Uh, given the situation, Carolina Department, I suppose, should move in that direction. Matter of fact, let's just move them by rail. Might as well, uh, let's just move them all the way there. Take them nine days, which is probably quicker than it would take these guys to get over here. Uh, since we control these counties, I don't believe they have any use of the rail line. I think as long as we have 100% control, uh, they can't use rail. And I think I'm going to have Magruder to continue a move back towards Richmond. out here, don't think. Oh, yep, here's Albert Johnson. Alright, so he will move and officially take command from Zollicoffer. Uh, Polk, he just needs to stay where he's at. But he will be joined by McCulloch next turn here. So that will be a pretty good size force available. Well, actually, that's Carolina Department there. Who is that up here? Oh, this is a third reserve brigade. Okay. Yeah, I forgot about them. I thought that was Carolina. No, Carolina Department's still pretty far away still. Sibley join Price there. And actually they've got so many troops under their command that still doesn't help to come make the penalty. But hopefully it maybe it, it might still get some assistance if they get into a fight. And we have Van Dorn. Hardy and Hindman all available now. There's his. I will use General Mari, which I think that's what I've done in the past, is have him command the East Texas area. He moved to Shreveport for now. He has very low seniority as far as generals go, so I'll use him since usually you don't really need a good general down there. Just any general to give you a bonus because the Union forces down there, at least in the past, have never used generals. Now I will join Hindman, Hardy, and Van Dorn all together, and they will move over here. And I'll have to decide how I want to 
split them up. Because the uh, Polk's detachment and the Nashville force, those will remain two separate forces. So I need to decide how I want to divide the generals up here. Polk already has one here, and then plus McCulloch will join in soon. So I'll probably send two of those guys on to uh, Albert Johnson. I'll decide which one's later. Alrighty, these guys need to keep moving. Wow, it took 30 days to get there. Okay, let's scale that back. It's because that rough terrain, I guess. It takes a while to move through there. Alright, Savannah Force. And then once they get there, I might just rail them the rest of the way. That way so they get there a little bit quicker. Actually a hell of a lot quicker. And we have General Bragg has become available in the southern department here. And historically, I believe that was originally his responsibility uh, until the Confederates, they suffered some significant losses in the West early on that caused them to bring Bragg and all available forces north. So I think I'll I'll follow that the historical pattern for now and just keep him down here in the south. Although I think I will move him to Mobile. He's got General Anderson with him. I think I'll have him go to Jacksonville. Bragg will take command in Mobile. And who is this? We've got a Texas Ranger Brigade has been raised. Well, it's actually calling it a brigade, but it's actually just a single regiment. Looks like it's got room for another one there, but it doesn't currently have a uh, I will use them as part of the local defense force for uh, the east out here. And actually, I should probably use them for now, anyway, just to garrison Dallas, since we don't have any troops in Dallas currently. So we have two regiments in Strasbourg that hopefully they will hold until Johnston arrives. Not expecting it to be difficult to break them out of there, but we'll have to wait and see. And we still have General Smith and Winder here. What is the command situation here? Got two generals there currently, but they're going to get reinforced by a large brigade, so they honestly probably need the commanders just to help keep that all organized. So I'll have both of them move to join Huger. Looks like all of our units for this turn. All right, let's, I don't think we had any, do we have any combat? Yes, we did. Battle of Covington. Oh, what do you know, we actually won. Oh, that's probably because Floyd wasn't there yet. And yeah, we actually did pretty good, 369 casualties to none on our side. 
So yeah, Wise is Legion. They did good on their own. And then where's this? This is this is Battlest. Oh, okay. So this actually tells me exactly what they have at Strasbourg, and it's not much. It's just a single brigade with three regiments. Those are volunteers, and then these are light infantry. So they don't even have any regular infantry there. So yeah, if they don't retreat, then we will mop the floor with them when Johnson arrives with the entire army of the Shenandoah. Okay, then I don't think I did. Yeah, let me check this. Not enough for any arsenals or anything, but I could probably get some new units training, two or three anyway. Oops. Alright, I don't think I've trained any troops in uh, Virginia yet, so let's see what we've got available. Actually, how are we set for cavalry? There's not very much cavalry. Well, actually, that one brigade by itself is five regiments, so that's, that's a decent amount, but more probably won't hurt. I've got three. Looks like just. Actually, I forget sometimes each of these brigades sometimes will have a cavalry regiment embedded. So I've got a total of five regiments. Darn Shenandoah. Let's see if, okay, so we've got five here. And five there. One here. And select this unit. Okay, there we go. And one there. So we've got five. So I think well, that's eight regiments, I believe, in that one. Uh, so now I don't really have a critical need for uh, more cavalry. And then we actually have some support units that do help. So maybe I'll get one of those going. Medical company going in Richmond. And then a brigade. That train in Manchester. Let's supply that six. And I could do something else here. What do I want to do? Could train one more brigade if I wanted to. Yeah, let's just 
train a uh, regiment of volunteers. And then I think I'll leave the rest of that. Alrighty, I forgot to set my timer for this video, so honestly I'm not even sure how long this has been going on, but I think I better wrap it up there. I think it's about time. Alrighty, thanks for watching.